What's up guys, it's Drew Rota here. Dennis Juracek from The Lone Wolf. And today we've got our super science lab. And we're gonna be putting some of our uh, downhill test bikes on the scale. See what they weigh in at. Yeah. Uh, got the Mondraker Sum first up. One of, actually I think it is our favorite downhill bike. Yeah. And it is the fastest downhill bike in the world right now. Let's see what it weighs. Thirty-four pounds three ounces, Drew. That is insane for a downhill bike. That is cool. That is definitely light, and God, that bike is fast and rides very well. Um, super playful, but a uh, ton of confidence and just looks good. Next up, another pretty good-looking bike, I'd say, yeah. the Rocky Maiden. Uh, let's see what this thing weighs. It's gonna be a little bit more. Let's see. 37 Whoa. pounds, four ounces, Drew. That's definitely pretty heavy. That's kind of like 2010 era weight. I remember my Giant Glory weighed that. <laughs> 37 so. and four ounces. Dang. Yeah, the maiden. She's yeah. up there a bit. And yeah, what do um, we have next? Canyon Sender. All right. Dude, this my is second, it. well. Probably, probably my second favorite downhill bike, I'd say. Yeah, very close to the Mondraker. Yeah. Very playful, uh, carbon fiber front triangle, aluminum rear. Um, Troy Brosnan's gonna rip this thing apart this year, so let's see what he can do. I, I'm this suspecting this might, this might put him on top of the podium. Yeah. Wow, 35 pounds, 15 ounces. Wow. I did not expect that. It definitely rides a lot lighter than that. It does. So. Definitely. Very playful and poppy bike. That's, I would say, where the Canyon excels. Um, so it's surprising that it's a little heavier than than the 34 mark, which is what we were expecting. Up next. A definitely light bike next. The yeah. Santa Cruz V10 CC. It is a very expensive bike as well. Full carbon fiber. Uh, even has NV wheels on it. Carbon cranks, carbon bars, everything. Um, let's see what this sucker weighs. Hot damn! 32 pounds, 12 ounces. That's like a, that's lighter than a lot of trail bikes. That's insane. That is nuts. Yeah. Full on downhill yeah. bike tires, everything. Yeah. We so. we just uh, did an all mountain bike video, and that comes in, I think, a bit lighter than the uh, Norco Range. Yeah. Which is a 160 bike. So, uh, a bike that'll definitely be heavier than the V10 and anything else, uh, but very value oriented. Yeah. The Mongoose Booter. We've not even ridden this one yet. Uh, nope. Maybe the reflectors might add a little bit of weight. What yep. do you think? And the pie plate. Yeah. But. I don't know if that's going to add pounds, but this thing is going to yeah. be heavy. Um, we did take guesses off camera. Dennis? My bicep says 44 pounds, 6 ounces. I'm saying 41.5. And now keep in mind, this complete bike weight or costs. $2,700, which is less than one of the frames that we just weighed. But what's it weigh? What's the winner get? Oh! oh! <laughs> 41 pounds, 2 ounces. I would just like to say, these biceps, way more accurate than those biceps. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. <laughs> there we are. Um, Super Science Lab weights for five downhill bikes. Mondrager Summum. Rocky Maiden, Canyon Sender, Santa Cruz B10, and the Booter. So I must say, the Mongoose definitely surprised me with its weight. I thought it was going to be way heavier than that. But I mean, for a $2,700 bike, what more can you ask for? Yeah. I mean, come on, that's super respectable. Yes. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, weigh-in and get some good information on the yep. uh, weights of some popular downhill bikes.